Hey guys, grab your patches because we have a fun project to work on today. So first to make this jacket, you're gonna have to decide what kind of jacket you want. Maybe you find one at a thrift store or shop around online. These are a few that I just had lying around at my house. I decided to go with this one here from Levi's that I purchased um, from their sale the other day. It has a lot of space for a lot of patches, which is the main reason why I went for this one. Also, as you can see from the fit, it's just a little bit oversized. So that's really perfect for what I was looking for. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room for all the patches. And so that maybe if I wanted to put some pins on the front in the future, I can do that too. <music> grab all of your patches. A lot of these I purchased from Etsy. Sometimes you can find some in stores like Hot Topic and random shops at the mall sometimes, but most of these I did get from Etsy. Go ahead and arrange them exactly how you want them. It's fun to play with the layout and make sure that everything is going to fit with the final results of what you like. And so you can see here I'm just laying all my patches out, figuring out exactly where I want them. arranged in the way you like it I would suggest to take a picture so that as you're sticking each patch on you can remember exactly the arrangement and how they were placed next comes the part of actually putting your jacket together so first off make sure your patches have the uh, stuff on the back of them that let you actually put them down because I tried to put the outside lands one down and I realized there's no interfacing or whatever on the back so I'm gonna have to sew that down. So <laughs> finally moving on to the next patch here, I was looking at various ways to attach the patches to the jackets and I seen one person online say to put a little protective towel over and then try to Get them to stick that did not work for me so i had to definitely do some trial and error now you can see i'm warming up the fabric first and smoothing out the wrinkles then applying the patch and then i go ahead and iron that for about 30 seconds and then afterwards i check to make sure that the edges are firmly down and then you can go over the edges again if you feel like you need to go ahead and do this for all of your patches I didn't really show you guys because it ended up taking me like an hour so some patches are really hard to stick on even after going over them multiple times with the iron so what I suggest is if there's any patches that are lifting on the edges you go in with some thread and sew them down to make sure they're secure I'm gonna have to go back in and do that with a few of my patches here but overall I'm really happy with how it turned out I can't wait to wear it especially now that it's fall winter season I will be getting a lot of use out of this jacket and I love that that it's custom, that no one else has the exact same one. I got to pick all the patches that are on it that really just express my own individual tastes, I guess. But I hope you guys have fun and make a jacket like this too. It's just going to be so much fun styling it, I know. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you know any cool patch companies because I am looking to buy a few more since I have some empty space, um, mainly on the top and sides, as you guys can see, that I want to fill up. I'll leave you guys with these last few shots of what the back of the jacket looks like. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in a future one, hopefully. Bye.